uh, ask after you've just had a game, but Chelsea on the weekend, what kind of challenge are you expecting from them off the back of their result against Liverpool? Um, yeah, it would be an in incredibly tough challenge as, as always, you know, playing... Manchester United like we just have or playing Chelsea two of the biggest clubs in, in England um, incredible uh, ability to sign talent and produce some of their own talent uh, massive squad full of quality so um, will, will be an incredibly tough test especially with such a quick turnaround and such a small squad you know the the amount of effort that went into the Manchester United game and the amount of work the boys put in will we'll take some recovering from so important that we start to try and um, get the lads recovered as quickly as possible and then going to Stamford Bridge will be a, a real, real test, a real tough place to go and we embrace it the same as we have with every other one and um, as I said before, the Manchester United game, you can give everything at this level and still cruelly come out on the wrong side. Um, that That's the, the case again at Chelsea but just looking for more of us, um, more progression, more togetherness um, and see if we can keep producing. I think that the distance that we've managed to move um, <clears throat> over the last six months. Um, watched a few of the games from last season where games like today got away from them and you end up losing five or six. Um, so I think that, that how far we've come and shouldn't shouldn't be taken lightly. Um, but that doesn't mean that we stop. We have to we have to keep pushing. Gary, what can we learn from how this window has taken shape, I suppose, because you let a centre forward out thinking you could get another one in and that hasn't happened so do you need to look again at those lines of communication perhaps or how those things work because clearly it's not ended as you would have wanted yeah no it's not ended as I would have wanted um, but I stand by the fact that we only want people in and around the playing squad that we feel can help us here and now um, so if we feel it's better for Hodgy or Sasha or Fabio to go out and play than it is to be here then then that's the decision we stand by so um, you know we we are where we are we felt we'd be able to get somebody in we we fell short on a couple and um, this is it now we're, we're in a good place financially at least where we haven't broken any rules or taken ourselves into an area that we shouldn't um, and you've as you've just seen from the from the game against Manchester United we have options available to us if we are creative enough and if we can make the things work and look how we want that we can still score three goals at home against Manchester United Was it as simple as that with Broja that if you stretched yourselves you would have been into an area where you were risking punishment? Yeah we couldn't afford the, yeah we couldn't afford to go to where where other clubs were able to go to without without putting ourselves at risk so um, it's, it's the position the club's in it's the position the club told me they were in when they spoke to me Um I was hopeful that letting a couple go early, clearing some wages would give us some room to do something. Um, turns out sort of wages wouldn't have been a problem. We could have bought people in on wages, but some of the, the fees and whether it's obligations or loan fees or penalties for people not playing, um, things like that proved to be too much of a hurdle for us and we, we couldn't get anything done. So, um, of course, we could have thrown our toys out the pram and thrown a strop and demanded things, um, but all all of that would have been jeopardising the, the good of the club and where we're trying to go. So, um, huge respect for this club and, and what, what needs to be done. Um, and as I say, I'm delighted with the group again and uh, we just need to keep pushing and, and find a way to maximise what we've got. Gary, do you think in a way that the, the fact that it's been known that you can't get players in, that, that it was difficult for you, you would be pushing it to try and get players in, has actually helped with, this, with the mentality of the core group that you've got because they're not, they know essentially that it's down to them, they're not going to get any external help because um, you, you seem to have fostered a, a pretty awful one and one for all spirit there. We're trying. I think that's always a big part of what I do. I was. It was a big part of what I tried to do last season. It's been a big part of what I've tried to do this season. And yeah, tra transfer windows when you're in the playing squad already can be can be funny because sometimes you'd like to see a few arrive because you know you get some some help and some support. Um, and other times for for selfish reasons and for reasons of no no we we've got this we're in this together you prefer it to stay where it was so I don't know how each of the individuals feel about it um, I'm really clear with them on how I feel about them and how I feel about the group and what we are 
Um, and I'm, I'm sure no matter what happens between now and the end of the season, you'll get us giving absolutely everything in, in every moment. Um, I, I, I don't think there'll be too many teams that could have suffered a, a sucker punch like the one that made it 3-1 against Manchester United and still showed a resilience to get back up and, and fight the way we did. And I'm, I'm sure if there was another five or six minutes left, we'd have found a way to to fight and, and threaten making it 4-4. So um, that's where it is. My job to make sure we keep it there and to to make sure the lads understand how important each little detail is. Um, and will we ever be perfect? Probably not, but my job to get us as, as close as possible. I know you've, you mentioned it in the pre-match and you mentioned it here tonight that it's crazy that you've had to try and manage a football club on the, uh, and transfer deadline day on the same day. Is there any mechanism by which you can make your feelings known apart from through the press via the official channels, the Premier League, to make sure... I oh, know, yeah, no. I'm not overly, I'm not overly keen to make my feelings known on it. It's just a, me, me answering questions around how I, you know, I'm always honest with you guys, yeah. and you ask me a question around how I feel about today, and it was a, I, I need to be 100% focused on the game today, um, and you being asked questions from higher up the the chain around, should we do this? Can what can we do that? And um, all the while it's interrupting game prep and, and what, what we should be doing. Um, and then I end up being on the touchline for the last few hours. Um, so if there were any decisions to be made around things, I'd have had no input in them at that point. Um, I just think the people that arrange or set these things up will know already that there are, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't take a genius to figure out that <clears throat> if a manager's managing a football match it's impossible for him to have an input on signings that may be made and I'm sure they'll say we'll get your signings done earlier um, but as we've seen from the last however many January windows selling clubs will wait till the end and buying clubs will wait till the end and loads of it will get done at the end so um, it's going to remain that way so it would be more sensible in my opinion to have no games on deadline day Great, thank you very much Alright, thanks guys